What's going on? Uh, I assure you, matron, it's all perfectly innocent. <laughs> it's his leg cramped. May I suggest next time you're feeling any discomfort or pain, you call one of us. Leave it to the professionals, eh? I'll stop by later. See how you're doing. <laughs> yeah, must be your daughter, isn't she? Yeah, needs a father figure. What can I say? No, it would be a good start. I'm a popular guy. Put your mask back on. Nurse Williams, can you get rid of this machine for me, please? Sure. How are you doing, Clayton? Oh, still on for dinner when I get out. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's lobster in the Seychelles, isn't it? Margarita's in Cancun. Your choice. I'm spoiled for it. This reading can't be right. What's wrong? Well, the reading on his left arm is showing 150 over 80. That's much lower than the right arm. Second time he's done this. Well, it can't be the machine, can it? Well, it can indicate a thoracic dissection. I'll have to call a vascular specialist. Well, I believe that would be Miss Lloyd. I'm not trying to avoid her. Oh. What's going on? There seems to be a discrepancy with your blood pressure. When you came in, your BP was elevated. Well, given your condition, that's what we'd expect. But your left arm reading is significantly lower, so we'll need to check it out. Who's this Miss Lloyd? Oh, you're like her. Just your type. Good-looking, intelligent, and colder than a fish on ice. Nurse, can you page Miss Lloyd, please? Men's room. I think you're making a mistake. Put a coolie while I... I'm just warning you. Chris isn't very active. I don't care, Trisha. She's just looking out for a nurse and stuff. Tell me about the patient. Yeah, Clayton Jones. He's a, he's a pilot. He came to us through ED. Short of breath, chest pain, tachycardic and hypertensive. He was scheduled for angioplasty oh, a couple of months ago, but changed his appointment. Matron. Miss Lloyd. Three gorgeous women. <laughs> I must have died and gone to heaven. Well, not yet, Clayton. You're right. She is my type. What? Oh, don't listen to him. He just fancies himself as a ladies' man. <laughs> I see. What's the problem? I suspect a thoracic dissection. And is he complaining of back pain? No, but um, his BP level was very high on one side and considerably lower on the other. Well, I better have a look then. Can you sit up, please, Mr. Jones? <laughs> you a smoker? No, not really. I'm down to 12 a day now. Well, that has no doubt contributed to your current condition. Uh, I only indulge post-coitally. <laughs> this is going to feel cold. Well, you know what they say. Cold hands, warm heart. <laughs> you have beautiful eyes. That kind of line might work on my nursing staff, but it won't work on me. Oh, I never met a woman yet who didn't welcome a compliment. What we have here is a wake-up call. You have coronary artery disease. The kind of scave just experience isn't going to go away. I bet you have a lovely smile to go with those eyes. Is this sinking in at all? Oh, lesson learned, Doc. Is it? Because it says here in your notes you booked in for angioplasty 12 months ago. You've cancelled twice. <laughs> she was worth it. Well, I hope she was for you to lay your life on the line for her. Listen, I just want a quick patch up and a refit to get me out of here. I've been grounded ever since this thing was diagnosed. Well, it's going to take some effort on your part. Cough, please. Giving you a hard time, isn't she, Clayton? Oh, I like a challenge. <laughs> the challenge is going to be getting you out of here in one piece. Yeah, but we could do it with a smile, couldn't we? Matron, when I need your advice on how to deal with a patient, I'll ask for it, all right? I think Mrs Beecham was looking for you. Well, if you only think she was looking for me, I suggest you go and check. Always the last one to hear. <laughs> BP's elevated 180 over 100. That doesn't seem to be any differential from the right side, therefore no dissection. Oh, that's good news, right? Well, it's not something you'd want, put it that way. Um, what is it? What do you think it was, then? A thoracic dissection. It's a, it's a split in the wall of the heart. The blood travels at high speed, enters the split, goes in through the wall, which puts an enormous strain on the system. Undiagnosed, it could be fatal, but you're fine, you're in the clear. Oh, you see, I'm indestructible. Now, if I could only make you smile, I'd be happy. <laughs> yeah, but his BP was 150 over 80, look. It's fine now. No, don't, don't fight over me, girls. There's plenty to go around. Do you know, I think you two rather suit each other. No, I don't think she's colder than a fish on ice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? What? You've got something to say to me, you say it to my face. I didn't say anything. Well, clearly you and Mr Jones have got some nice private joke going on at my expense. I called you because I thought there was a thoracic dissection. So it's just your incompetence, then? Is there a problem? 
There's a discrepancy over Clayton's BP. I thought there was a possibility of a thoracic dissection. What's the rate now? Normal? Slightly hypertensive. Okay. There's no leaky valve, no murmur. No, Rob, can I sit you forward? Thank you. Air entry clear on both sides. A little wheezy. You smoke? I'm trying to give up. I'll try a bit harder. Okay, no reputation. Heart sounds normal. Can we just do this uh, angioplasty thing? Angioplasty. We don't know how far your condition has deteriorated, so we'll do an angiogram first and take it from there. Okay? No, I've already had one of those. Yeah, I can see, but that was 12 months ago. That makes it redundant. A bit like your pilot's licence will be if you don't listen to your surgeons. Matron, Miss Lloyd. My sake. Hi, Clayton. Where have you been all my life? In school, for most of it. Oh, oh you cut me to the quick. <laughs> Clayton, I have the results of your angiogram. OK? You have severe triple vessel disease. Blocked LAD, blocked circumflex, 80% obstruction to the right coronary artery. Your left ventricular rejection is 50%. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run that by me again. Your heart function severely impaired. OK, there are three main arteries that supply blood to the four chambers of the heart, and one of them is blocked. Is that bad? You'll have to draw me a picture. I don't understand a word you're saying. OK, um... Your jumbo jet is flying on one engine, and it's had it. Oh. I can fly on one engine? No. Not with a blocked fuel pipe. OK, the fact is that if you'd have come in earlier, things would have been simpler, but as it stands, you're looking at bypass surgery. Looks like that lobster will have to wait. <laughs> we'll get you booked in as soon as we can. OK? Right, I'm needed in the ED. If there's any further problems here, call Miss Lloyd. Thank you. Chest pain? No, no. It's, it's my leg and foot. It's killing me. Show me where. Uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah cramp. Look, it's all right, man. The lead is, I don't want to cause any fuss. You're not worried, are you, Chrissy? Pulse is weaker than the affected foot. There must be a blood flow restriction somewhere. This is not right. You will have to call Miss Lloyd, please. Okay, just try and relax for me, Clayton. How often do you get to change something? Prevention and pulse. Any pain? Yeah. Not now. Have you had this pain before? Oh, it comes and goes. Cramp-like -like symptoms? Oh, yeah. Right, well, that's most probably what it is, then. Yeah. You must have healing hands. Well, you're not going to check his knee? Are you questioning me? I'm just not happy with your diagnosis. Sorry, which one of us did six years at medical school? Oh, please don't pull that one. We both know what this is about. Yes, it's about me trying to do my job, and unless you want me to make a complaint... Doctor, the patient... You can't even see what's under your nose, can you? Maybe that's because I try and keep it out of other people's lives. Really? Or maybe because you keep it stuck up in the air? It's the gutter. At least I know who I am. <laughs> I think we all know who you are. This isn't the time or the place. Why don't you stop being such a victim and get yourself a personality? You think you've got all the answers, don't you? This is getting out of hand now. No, no, come on, Diane. You, you, you tell me. Why, oh, you've got no idea. <laughs> His legs turn blue. And there's a lump behind me. <laughs> The pain. The pain is killing me. It's a pulse at all. Mask could be popped at two aneurysm. We need to get him into theatre straight away. Can you make sure there's an X-ray available? Oh, no, I'm not going under the knife. You have no choice. You said it was cramp. I was wrong. What if I don't wake up? Clayton, listen to me. If we don't operate, there's a strong possibility that you could lose your leg. No. No, you're just trying to scare me. For your life. It's my leg, not my heart. Clayton. I'm not playing around anymore, OK? This is as serious as it gets. Are you going to work with us, or are you going to be against us? <sighs> Whatever you say. Good, let's get him prepped. And Paige, Mr Griffin, I don't know what I'm going to find. <sighs> all right, all right. I'm here. What kept you? If I never have to work with Paul Rose again, it'll be too soon. What have you got? A four-centimetre popliteal aneurysm. I spotted it way too late. Are you okay doing this? 
I'm not sure. Can you already some uh, arterial claps, please, just in case we bleed? Slowly. You don't want to damage the nerve. I thought I could handle it. I thought I was ready to come back. No suction, please. So. <laughs> we have a bleed. The clamps, please. That's an anti-systolic. You need some more collars. Better stand by some bloods, please. There's blood everywhere. I, I can't. OK. That's all, please. Now, oh, pressure on. I haven't quite got a fix on this bleed. I think this is it. Feels good. Okay, let go now. Okay. Back on. Back on. Try now. Yeah, that's fine. Good. You need to tie off the aneurysm and stitch a bypass graft in place. You'll have him back in his feet in no time. Oh, come on. My mind should have been on the patient, not her. Look, you probably just saved this man's life. You're a great surgeon, so don't be so hard on yourself. You're hard on yourself all the time. <laughs> For some reason. You were right, so was Paul Rose. I should have... Hey, how are you feeling? OK, I suppose. There's a chance they'll let me fly again. That's what i got to focus on. Do you realise now how serious this is? Yep. But you sought me out, didn't you? Well, I still think we need to look at a change in your lifestyle, Clayton. Oh, oh come on, Doc. I know I should have got seen too early. I'll hold my hands up. Fair cop. I'm back on track now, aren't I? Ah, just what I need. Some TLC. I was thinking Rio. One of those nice oh. boutique hotels. You know, the ones that... Oh, Mandy. Mandy. What? I've just come out of an operation. Spore, spore. Well, we just have to party at home. Mm. Sounds great. I see nothing's changed. Uh, can't keep a good man down. How's his BP? Yeah, it's good. 130 over 90. You're recovering well. Excellent. Well, you should be ready for your next operation soon, then. You mean you have to stay here? I can't pretend anymore. I'm going to leave you two to talk. No, no, no. I'd like you to hear this. You see, I've lived a life where all I've done is shift people around. Literally. If anyone got close, I'd back off and I'd pull away. That's me, I guess, on autopilot. But the thing is, I never checked the final destination, the grave. I sat and lonely. Ex-pilot. No. I don't want that. So you're going to change? Well, looks like I'll have to. Good. Some men don't. You saved my life. Actually, um, I, I didn't. It's Matron Williams you have to thank. Yeah, bypass is scheduled for Friday. So you're with us for a while yet. And dinner in the Seychelles is on me. I'll leave you to it. Afraid I'll have to cancel that party. Maybe I'll come back when you're feeling more like your old self. No. My old self is gone. Then so am I, honey. I almost died today. But you didn't, did you? Look, for what it's worth, I do realise 